Hi, I'm Melissa Chartrand. I'm here with Chris Galazzi, the director of the Cape Cod Maritime Museum on South Street. Hi, Annis. And hello. Welcome back to the museum. Welcome back to the, the museum. Year. And what's really cool and we're going to talk about is that I'm not only in the museum, but I'm in an exhibit at the museum. That's right. A, a working exhibit. A yeah. working exhibit. Sharp tools behind us yep, and they're all out. functional. They're, none of these are props. These I'll are keep actual my hands tools. to my side. Very Chris. good. Very good. So before we talk about this, let's talk about the museum itself. Wonderful. So uh, welcome back. It's been a year uh, since you were here. We finished this exhibit on Pete Culler's workshop, and there's a wonderful story, which I hope to have a chance to share with you. Most definitely. Um, we are running the Rum Runner exhibit in our other exhibit hall. We're building uh, two boats downstairs in our boat shop, active boat shop, and folks are welcome to come in and talk to our boat rights about building a boat here at the museum with us or participating with ongoing projects. Uh, Sarah's getting ready to go in the water for both uh, charter sales and regularly scheduled sales Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we have a new STEM gain STEAM classroom, education classroom, for the maritime arts and sciences, uh, thanks to Rotary here in Hyannis. So thank you, Rotary. Yes. Uh, so it's really a wonderful uh, opportunity for folks to come back to the museum if they've been here before or come explore with us now. And, and uh, I'm really happy to have you back. We haven't had that sale yet. I want to get have, you out on Sarah. And we are going to do that, definitely. All right, all right. Um, and I think Sarah, our videographer, will love coming as well. It'll Terrific. be fun to yes, go on. Yes. A nice day, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll we'll pick a good day and uh, we'll um, bring some sandwiches for everybody. Yeah, I think it needs fun. to be several hours, right? For sure. Uh, to get a full experience, Ex absolutely. You, you can do it in half an hour, but really to immerse yourself, you really want to spend a few hours. Sounds absolutely. Good. So let's talk about immersing ourselves right here sure. in this workshop. So tell me about who Ca who is Captain Pete? Right, Why so, are we here? So Captain Pete was a local builder. He uh, uh, designed boats here, right at this table. Um, He's important because he, his actual workshop was about two blocks away. Uh, he built boats and designed boats here uh, on the Inner Harbor for about 30 years uh, from the late 40s until the uh, early 70s. Um, he had a design and build philosophy that experience begins where you start. And what he meant by that was, don't be frightened of people who have been building boats for years or who have experience working with all the tools that you see behind us. Just, just start, find a project where you can begin to learn and gain that experience because these people that you see who have all this knowledge about boat building, at one time, they were just where you are and the, the important thing is to begin. That's so right. what that's a great our kind philosophy. of our philosophy here. Yeah, absolutely. And so this is w literally from his workshop. Everything's been recreated from his. That's but now, correct. did he donate this? Where? How did you get your hands on the items? And let's talk a little bit about what we see. Right, here. right, absolutely. So, uh, so there were a number of young men, boys, really, at the time when Captain Pete was designing and building locally, um, who came into Captain Pete's shop and would stand around, help with different projects, uh, would load uh, fuel into the fire, um, who would go out to get different materials if Cat and Pete needed them. And as those boys grew into men, they learned the skills and traditions of design and building. And one of the, the uh, big museum friends is a fellow named John Burke. And uh, John uh, uh, acquired many of the items that you see here when his good friend, Captain Pete, passed away in the late 70s. And John has had these items at his home in Maine uh, waiting for an opportunity to breathe life back into them. So with John's hard work, and, and John came down here and swung a hammer with us, uh, we recreated Captain Pete's shop to within a few inches. There's a little design change to accommodate the, the room and what we're doing here, but we're within inches of his actual shop design. And so one of the important things, again, about Captain Pete's philosophy was, if you've thought about building a boat but felt, I don't have enough room, uh, this space, Captain Pete's space, this is smaller small. than, a, than a garage is today. Um, and uh, so this is one of Captain Pete's designs. Uh, Captain B Pete uh, built his own wooden uh, table saw and he was a big 
believer that uh, you didn't have to go out and buy everything to start. Right. We really, you begin your project with some simple tools, uh, a plane, which we have on exhibit here, um, some sharp saws, some hand saws, uh, and then you acquire the tools you need, a table saw, uh, a band saw, and other tools as you become more proficient with these basic hand tools. So it really is the story about start small, uh, don't, you know, be don't humble, be afraid. but don't be afraid. Absolutely. And just dive in. Uh, and so for folks who want to do that, you can come to the museum and work with our boat rights to begin to, you can pick a project, you can build, begin building a boat with us, take it home, finish it at home, finish it here at our, our shop, or just come down and walk around the exhibit and learn a little bit about Captain Pete and his philosophy. I think that's wonderful. And I think, as you say, if you can not only look with your eyes, but actually physically engage and take home those skills and those memories, it's pretty yeah. remarkable. Yeah, and to, to be able to see what a Cape Cod builder shop looks like, um, uh, what it really was like just a few blocks away from here, I think really brings home this idea of preserving and protecting maritime traditions and skills, but also sharing them for future generations. And that's one of the key uh, values that we have here at the museum. And we hope that as a visitor, uh, our visitors will find that to be true and will experience that not just as part of a museum story, but also as their own personal experience. Right, very yeah. well said. And now, how long is this on display for? We'll be here for a couple of years. The plan is to build out the perimeter of this exhibit with examples of local, current local boat builders who are doing everything from building wooden spars to uh, doing plank on frame, the traditional uh, boat building method, uh, to working with some of the new technologies, fiberglass and epoxy. So that someone who's really interested about not only the past history and the traditions of building clipper ships, you know, earth, earth traveling, globe trotting, uh, large ships, of commerce from the 1800s, but also uh, smaller boats that people are building and, and enjoying today. Um, folks can come in and get an experience sure. and have a sense of place here on Cape Cod relative to these other businesses, both historically and present. Very well. Yeah. Um, let's let our viewers know where they can get more information on the museum. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, www.capecodmaritimemuseum.org. Uh, and uh, on uh, you Facebook. Can, you, Facebook, you can see us on Facebook. Uh, we don't twit or Twitter or tweet, <laughs> uh, but we uh, welcome folks to come on down here, 135 South Street, right next to Azelton Park. Right. On the Inner Harbor, if you're passing through for a fast ferry or a not so fast ferry to the islands, uh, we're a wonderful location. If you're 100 yards away on Main Street, we're just a short walk sure. downhill to the museum and, and uh, folks can come find us. We're open uh, Tuesday through Sunday, um, every day, and more details on the website. There you go. Well, for Chris Galazzi from the Cape Cod Maritime Museum, I'm Melissa Chartrand, wishing you an artful day.